In this video, we want to show you how to use Hypergraph to plot result data based on multiple subcases in one shot. First, let's open the result file. We can use the drop-down menu or the icon from the ribbon. The Create Curves pop-up appears and we switch to the tab Multiple Inputs. As a source, we can choose between file and subcase and we select the latter. To see a video for the file option, please look as well in our web channels. Now navigate to the result file. We see the three available subcases from our result file and select all of them for the input. Some additional options are available. For example, how the different curves should be attached. We can choose to not attach at all or to use its X vectors or both its X and Y vectors. We can select if the curve naming should be based on the subcase and we can also label our subcase set which we create with this process. Let's add the attachment option as a string here. And with select, we finalize and head back to the plot definition. On the left, we see our subcase set is available now as a subcase selection. Using the desired type, request, and component of the available outputs, we can finally plot the curve. We see three curves, one for each subcase of the set, and the X range lasts from zero to one for each of the three. So no vector attachment was done as we defined. Now let's show the two other options. Going back to the multiple inputs tab, we switch to attach X vectors only and use new label. Plotting now, we see that the curves are attached to each other in X direction and the total range is zero to three. Using the third option to attach X and Y vectors, we do as follows. And upon plotting, we recognize the resulting curve looks identical to the second one, where we only attach the X vectors. The reason is that in this case, the simulation was defined in the way that sequential subcases are based on another. Means that the final output value of the former subcase is identical to the first output value of the latter subcase. So we do not see a difference by the attachment method. When we switch to our online help for the cat offset function, which is the math behind this feature, we see an example for different attachment options. See the two base curves that are totally independent of each other in values. And by using attachment in X or in X and Y, we see that these different curves are created.